What is going on, y'all? Hope y'all are having a great day. And today, we are getting into another defensive coverage reading video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. I love making these videos. Um, you know, men, men to me has always kind of been a game of chess, at least at the beginning of the season. Wow, that sounds super corny, but it's kind of like you read what you think they have. They may have something completely opposite, whatever the case may be. Sometimes you thrive and prosper. Sometimes you throw a pick and a pick six or you get a, a fumble sack, whatever the case may be. Um, more or less, it's towards the end of the season, so you already know everyone's running the same five plays. QB blast, Wh whatever. I already got into this. I ain't going to bore you all with this. We're just going to jump into the defensive coverage. Um, whatever the case may be, we are still in the New Orleans Saints playbook. I don't know what kind of package we're in. Let's just go ahead and get to a normal one. The point is, it doesn't really matter. We're in here with the lines, and we're about to get some work done. So we're just going to jump into the four verticals. This is a play that's very easy to adjust on um, according to the defensive coverages that you're reading. So let's jump into it. All right, first thing, block the running back as always. Now, we see the two high safeties, the cornerbacks, five yards off the wide receivers as last time. So what are we reading? Should be some kind of cover two. If it is a cover two man, we'll get TJ Hawkinson on a slant. We could put Y on a drag route, and that will absolutely destroy man. However, if it is some kind of, you know, whatever, Tampa 2 defense, we should be able to have Amendola or Lacey out on the sides. I honestly don't know the Lions wide receivers that well. If they are semi-fast, they should be able to get open. If not, then we'll just pay the price. So let's see what they were in on defense. Look at that. Turns out they're actually in a cover three which is totally not what we expected. However, since we put the right routes on the field, we're going to have both Y and A that should come open. So we're looking for Y and A on this play. Y was going to get open towards the end there. Um, I don't know if the defensive or uh, the Lions offensive line just, I don't know, smoked a bowl or something before the game. Uh, that's what it seemed like, regardless. This is the next play. You see the single high safety there. We should be reading cover three here um, as the cornerbacks are also about seven yards off the wide receivers. That gives us another hint that they're probably gonna drop back into a deep coverage. So what we'll do is we'll keep Galladay on that streak route. We can put Lacey on a quick out route, which we'll probably be able to hit him on Otherwise, we're looking for seams, 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 okay? So my first read is going to be Galladay. And if not, let's go ahead and put Amidol on an out route as well. And just in case this is some kind of weird man or whatever, we'll put TJ Hawkinson on just a curl route, okay? So let's see what they actually were in on defense. They were, in fact, in a cover three. Actually, it's a cover three match play. So those slot receivers... The ones in the seam flats there are actually going to be running man principles. So TJ Hawkinson's route should get open. And actually Galladay's streak should be getting matched on this play. So really we'll have three wide receivers open on this play. B, A, and X. In this case, we're just going to look for A. Um, even though I know those routes are going to be open, but we're going to try and hit the deepest route on the field. Quick little curl route to TJ Hawkinson. We completed the pass. Curl routes really destroy man coverage unless they know how to adjust well. So we'll go ahead and block the running back. Let's see. Two high safeties. The cornerbacks are far seven eighths. If you guys watch my two previous videos, you should already know this by now. So I'm going to try not to explain myself. I'm just going to run through it. Put them on the out routes out on the outside. Those two uh, cornerbacks should be in deep coverages, so we should be able to hit them on the deep outs. In this case, it was a weird, um, 
whatever that is, cover six, cover nine. I don't know. I don't run those plays. Um, but we should definitely have B and probably X on this play. In this case, we'll just look for B. The quick out route, nice little six yard route. Okay. Now this is looking to be, since the corners are pressed so tight, I'm guessing this to be a man coverage style play. So what we'll do is we'll block the running back, put TJ Hawkinson on a drag, and we'll put Galladay on a slant. And then I don't know the Lions wide receivers good enough, but if you had a fast wide receiver on the outside, they would absolutely burn them. You could pass like that to the outside for a huge gain. Let's see what they actually were in on defense. Just as I expected, it was a cover or a man coverage play. So we're looking for TJ Hawkinson and Kenny Galladay on this play. He got open there just by the skin of his teeth. Um, as they were pressed, he kind of got bumped there a little bit, but we were still able to fit that in there. Now, two high safeties. Cornerbacks are far off the ball. It does look like that left cornerback may be a little bit further back than the right one. So this could actually be a weird cover nine style uh, play. So let's put Am Amidola and B on quick out routes. And we should definitely be able to get Amendola just because that cornerback is very far off the ball. So let's, let's go ahead and try that route. We were able to hit him. I mean, as you guys can see, if you can read the coverages of the defense, you can hit these quick little out routes all game until he just gets pissed, wants to blitz, and then he gives up an easy touchdown. So, since we've done so many of these videos, let's just go run one more play. And um, I, hope, I hope you guys get the feel of this. If not, if you want to see something more specific, please comment down below. I really have been taking all viewer suggestions and turning them into videos so if you do want to see a video just comment it down below and i will take it into serious consideration once again the single high safety so this could be a cover three sky this could be a cover three match if it's a match obviously we'll put hawkinson on a curl route um, otherwise we're looking for galladay and we can do those quick little out routes, but let's try let's try and hit something a little bit bigger on this play, okay? And let's see what they're in on defense. It was a basic cover three sky. So if you've seen my previous videos, you know I've said this a million times. Seams, seams, seams. In which case, Galladay should be wide open for a nice 20-yard gain here. Let's try it out. He was. As a matter of fact, he almost got into the end zone. Those seams absolutely destroy cover three. You always need to be looking for those on those types of plays. Yo, you just hit the very end of the video. Have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. And if not, enjoy your day anyways. Goodbye.